All right, welcome back, guys. It's called Gamer back with some more Ratchet and Clank on the PlayStation 2. Yes, we're back with the OG Ratchet and Clank. We finally got our first, we actually got the first ship we actually get to collect. So we're gonna skip this whole animation. I don't care, but we're not gonna go to Outpost 11. We're gonna actually go to Metropolis. Yes, we're gonna go visit Al's Robo Shack for all your electronic needs. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Yes, we gotta go to visit Al because it'll help us with um. Uh, we need the hello pack. Wow. We, that's where we get the hello pack. If you haven't played this game, sorry, I kind of spoiled that for you. Yes, we need a clank upgrade in this level. Definitely need it. I don't like playing Outpost 11 without it, so. Alright, so now we're out and about, and we're going to explore Metropolis. Metropolis was such a fantastic, like, level. I loved this level growing up as a kid. Like, this level was so cool because it set up such good stuff. Seeing the futuristic city and stuff like that, it was it was a cool level. So, all right, let's go to let's go to the Gadgetron vendor, Gadgetron. Buy the blaster, yeah. That's the first weapon I buy, is the blaster because it's gonna be the most useful. The flamethrower, whatever, I don't care about the flamethrower right this minute. The blaster is the one we want because we have these stupid guys here and the dogs and you know we need this blaster. We're definitely going to need the blaster. I need to collect all these bolts. The bolts in this game can piss off because getting a million bolts in this game is royally a pain in the butt. Now, it's not impossible if you glitch the game, but the million bolt crap can piss right off as far as I'm concerned. Because there's no bolt multiplier when you do New Game Plus. There's no nothing in this. This is such a pain in the butt to get the million bolts in. The other games were so much nicer about that, and I, I will admit to that, that, you know, future games do get nicer about that concept, because uh, million bolts in those are like nothing, because you multiply, multiply, multiply. You've got bolt multipliers. This here is such a pain in the poop shoe, it's not funny. Literally, the currency stays the exact same, and collecting a million with the amount of frame bullets you end up using... And the amount of guns and stuff you gotta buy is a royal pain. So, buy a bolt everywhere. I wish. So, we're gonna go down here, go down this deep part of the city. Get rid of you because you're gonna throw mines and really annoy piss on me. Come here, doggy. Come here. Fetch. <laughs> Prick. Fetch me wrench. Get rid of you. There's a skill point if you can climb up there, so that's not a big deal. But we're going to go visit Al. Hi, Al. Ratchet, that's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember? He knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Okay, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. Ratchet, am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. So there we go. We got the hella pack upgrade. Now we can fly around and do our stuff. Which is fantastic because I like the hella pack upgrade. It was so nice. Long jump. So, this is fun. I, I like this. This is really a cool little... I actually like the fact how they use Clink in this. And you actually get to see Clink get oh, better. So. Whee! Damn it. Get the hit there. Come on. Die. Bye-bye. Off the cliff. Don't need you there. Woohoo! Up the little elevator. Ratchet's feet look so weird. But 
if you guys are wondering why the titles are so weirdly named, it's because of the fact that, you know, I'm taking some of the references that, you know, they make in the game, and we're going to turn them into titles. Like, Plumber Crack is the reference to the plumber, so if you guys know the reference, you'll know exactly what we're going to hint at and kind of go talk about. The Plumber's Butt Crack, yes. So... If you guys know the reference to this one, you know, getting as far as we do in this, I'm trying to drag that out telling you what the name is. You guys will see it in eventually in a couple minutes. So, you guys will see that. It's not a big deal. Um, this level is pretty short. It's not very long. No, Metropolis was always kind of a short level. These levels don't usually take... The first Ratchet and Clank levels never took that long, which was great because, you know, for recording purposes, it's always nice not having super, super lengthy levels. So, get up here, climb up here, attack these, okay, now we're going to just go like this, jump down here, and we're just going to go hella pack up here. Whoops, I didn't mean to fall down yet. But we're going to take all these, guard these dogs out, because why not? So, we see the nice shiny gold bolt, you're like, ah, how the heck do you get that? Bye bye, dog. So... Hello pack up, double jump, wrench this, more blaster ammo, jump, jump, glide, double jump, double jump, and boom, you got right in the radius of it, it will take you to the gold bolt immediately and start the animation, you ain't gonna land on the platform. So there's our gold bolt from Metropolis, one of them, there's another one that's, you know, more cryptic and bullshit, but... We're not going to worry about that. We're not going for the perfect 100% run in this game. Sorry, guys. That's just not what we're doing because that would take me forever because I'd have to remember where all the bolts were, all the gold bolts and stuff. So, and, you know, if you guys want to see that, so be it. I will do it, but I think there's people that do it better than what I would do it because, you know, I don't have faith in myself, so why not? You know what? Bombs away. Bombs away. Screw that. I'm just going to do it my way. Which is not the most smartest way to do with things. Nope. We'll use up some ammo. I don't care. Alright. So, let's go on to the choo-choo train. The flying choo-choo train. I actually like this part right here. I don't know why. This part of my favorite sections is the train station here. Riding on the train here. Blasting enemies right off the ledge and watching... Oh! That was kind of funny. Uh-huh. You died. You fell down. You fell down. Bye-bye. You fell down. Bye-bye. I got the info bot. Not really, but... They give you that false sense of security. You got the info bot because... You got it. You're on the platform with the info button. It's just spinning around, spinning around. You see me right round, baby. Right round like an info bot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Get rid of the mine prick there. Just throw a wrench over here. Blow this, and this down. Woohoo. All right. Got. Oh, look. We got our bombs back. Bomb glove. Well, we're going to avoid the little trip mines there that Mr. Butthole decided to leave because we're going to not deal with him. And look, another info bot. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. But, no. I, I definitely like Sherman Drek as a villain because they do a fantastic job setting him up and just making him ultimately evil. They do a fantastic job making Drek. I want to kick his. Definitely do a good job at that. I mean, they make you really hate Sherman Drek. In the reboot there, when they tried to, you know, for the movie there with um for PS4, I didn't like him. I didn't like his design in that. He looks so much better in this. Fitness course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to brain her, simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. 
Cork Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. I do like how they make Clank so naive in this game. Yes, he does. He's very naive in the first game. But it, it does show, like, the funny relationship with how Ratchet's, you know, more, more worried about trying to find Captain Quark. Like, they're trying to find Captain Quark and all that stuff. And Ratchet's kind of pointing out the obvious, like, things. And that's fine. That's all grand, you know, in the grand scheme of things, that's fine. But it does show Clank, you know, as much as he's, like, a robot and robots are supposed to be intelligent and stuff like that. Clink's kind of a duh, but he's also a freshly born robot, too. Like, he was literally just born, so he's only, like, one year old, apparently already knowing how to talk. So, that's fine, whatever. I didn't say logic made sense in this universe. Oh, poop, I hate the camera sometimes. But, so, yeah, like I said, the logic doesn't have to make sense in this. Well, poo, I fell down and went boom. That's abnormal, I'll never usually do. Okay. The fitness course is kind of boring. Yeah, I kind of find this very boring of a section. That's why I usually try to do it last, because I don't like it. No, I find the fitness course very boring. That's why when um, they brought it back and up your arsenal there in the VR thing, I was like, really? We need this stupid freaking crap again? I, I don't like the VR. I don't like the training sections here where you're at a... I mean, I get it. This is a platformer, and the, you know you need some platforming, but come on. This section's boring. There's nothing exciting. There's no good scenery pieces. I mean, yeah, you got the flying cars up by your head and stuff, but come on. Well, now we're time for us to become real men. And you guys will see what I mean by real men, because here's Helga. Listen up, you lard balls. That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course. What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it was weak. Weak, weak. When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast. <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day. But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot. So you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad, life's not fair. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Real men can swing without silly toys like that. The two of you make me sick. So I have a legitimate question. If real men can swim without slingshots, does that make Spider-Man a real, a real man? Because he swings around on webs. Just saying. Does Helga consider Spider-Man real then? A real man? Because he zips around from building to building on webs. <laughs> I just like the real men. It's like the way she talks is kind of annoying, but it's funny. Real men don't need slingshots. Like apparently you're not a real man, Ratchet. I'm sorry. Sorry, Ratchet. You're you're not a real man. I don't know what you are, but you're a furry brick. All right. So next time, guys, we have to go to the outpost eleven because that's the next planet we're gonna visit. Because there is a reason you have to do Metropolis is first. Outpost 11 is next because then you get a slingshot spot, so that's why we need the slingshot to get into Outpost 11 because there's a trend, there's a gadget for when we go to the camp there, so there, there's a reason we're doing these orders here, so we don't have to backtrack. You can do them whatever order you want, but I don't like backtracking. We're going to do the whole thing in one shot, and we're going to get this nice map. It's all done. See? Nothing. No question marks. Boom. Done and over. Um, so until then, guys, this is Ape Skull Gamer signing off. Till then, do the most important thing of all, and keep gaming. Take care.